Hi, I'm Danny Queen. Welcome to another exciting edition of Color Me Poetry this evening. I'd like to welcome my guest and my good friend, Lawrence Pettigrew. He is an, uh, an airbrush artist and an artist to the highest degree. Welcome, brother. You are uh, here with us on Color Me Poetry for the second time, and you got some new pieces, and we're just going to talk about art and airbrush uh, art, if you will. Welcome to Color Me Poetry. Thank you, brother. How are you? Pretty good, man. I yeah, see you've been kicking. You've been kicking them out here. Yeah, uh, that's mm -hmm. all I have to do is my mm -hmm. art. That's what I like to do. I love to do it. Mm -hmm. So first, I'd like to give honor to God and yes. uh, thank him for giving me the talent, basically, to push this stuff out. And the drive. And Takes the a lot drive. of drive. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. I think for any artist, uh, me as, as a poet uh, myself, um, takes a lot of drive and a lot of energy, a lot of, uh, a lot of willpower, but people help you. People, you'll find people who believe in you mm -hmm. and they'll, they'll help to push you and people mm -hmm. come to you with mm -hmm. ideas and mm -hmm. that kind of thing, always. I'm a people person, mm -hmm. so I interject with the uh, public all the time. Basically, they are the root of my artwork. Really? Uh, for as many f uh, cars as are out here for people to drive, so is there are faces. Mm -hmm. So I'm figuring we can, if we can basically, uh, uh, narrow in mm -hmm. on just what uh, you know what evolves this earth around and what what motivates us as mm -hmm. people it's 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 got to be uh, our art our mm -hmm. what we can do as a people uh, uh, to uh, inspire each other is art imitating life or life imitating art for you I think uh, the art imitates life I really do because uh, within every face there is a, a story to be told in every portrait that you paint, there's a, like I said before, a puzzle. Mm -hmm. A puzzle to the individual, the pieces you must put together in order to see the whole figure itself. Now, there's a piece behind us there that you've done on uh, Bill Cosby. Uh, why Bill? Bill is uh, the, uh, let's say, American's, the American dad. Okay. You know, he's the family man, the guy that we look up to. He's been on TV for years. Yeah. I mean, I grew up with Bill Cosby, you know. Mm -hmm. He's been in and on video, in the house, uh, you know, just throughout yes. throughout our lives. So mm -hmm. to me, Bill is a, he's an inspiration. Mm -hmm. He's an inspiration, and I have fun doing his portrait. There's another wonderful thing about Bill Cosby, when he had his um, show on um, the, the Cosbys, uh, he used to have all this uh, beautiful African-American art right. on, on, on the show, right. there on the set, and that was beautiful. That was That's a plus for African-American artists. Correct, correct. Yeah. Anything to push out art itself, uh, no matter if it's serialistic, uh, realism, uh, abstract, what have you, it's uh, it's all from the mind of the of the artist themselves. You know, when you work on a piece, when you start a piece, um, how's it that you get started? What's the first thing you do? Actually, I have to see it. Okay. I'm looking at a blank piece of canvas or a blank shirt, and I actually have to see what no one else sees. I have to see the image before I even begin because... It starts in the head. It starts in the head, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, uh, do you, if you don't have a picture, then what, you just see it in your head? Well, then you're, you're relying on your creative ability. Uh, and sometimes, out of that, you create some of your best work. And mm -hmm. at times, you know, like port, you know, poetry, yeah. you have to ball it up and start all over again. Well, yes, yeah. <laughs> Nothing's written in stone. Right, right. Yeah, so you, you kind of have to do the same thing as an artist. Well, true, but fortunately, well, with uh, airbrushing, mm -hmm. you cannot make a mistake. <laughs> Why is that? You cannot make a mistake. <laughs> well, uh, if I you can't go, go back. Correct. Because I can all, take my pencil, oh, I don't like that line. I can erase, erase it, it out. Right. <laughs> do it again. Well, I'm pretty sure they have made some product where you could uh, erase or mm -hmm. go over, but when you're working on uh, delicate pieces such as a shirt yes. or a canvas, you don't really want to mess it up. So you're mm -hmm. you're conscious about what you're doing at all times. Mm. And if you if you uh, go into it with a confidence that you are not going to mess up, then I'm pretty sure you'll stay on that one path. Because mm. I've often watched you, you know, uh, down there at the store, you know, and you're just like. Tss, tss, tss. I said, good God, look at this brother here. You know, he, he's bad up in here. And, uh, you know, just watching you is, 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 an, is an art form itself, uh, high intensity. Because you could be talking to people and still concentrating on what you're doing. Yeah, that's a, uh, something I had to learn to do, really? basically. When I first started out 10 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, I was quite nervous, very nervous. 
In fact, I yeah. was always looking over my shoulder to see who was watching me. Yeah. And uh, eventually, as the time went on, mm -hmm. you know, you get comfortable. You get very comfortable in your own setting. You know, mm -hmm. this is not done in solitude because you have to. You you, you want to let the public see it. You right. want you want to get Cost. let them have the the same feel mm -hmm. that you do. Let so it, when you're when you're painting and you're going through your motions, you're actually going through your act. You know what I mean? Mm. You're going through uh, a performance. What kind of responses uh, have you gotten from people as you work, as they watch your work? Well, uh, I'm sort of a humble guy. I really don't uh, mm -hmm. like to brag or boast of anything. Yeah. But Some people, people eat that kind of stuff up. Yeah, there, they you know? do. But when people tell me uh, that I'm good, yeah. uh, that yeah. helps me strive a little e even harder. You know? But at the same time, you, you uh, have to be humble. Well, true. Because it's true. what God has given to you. True. Well, yeah. in that case, I do have to say mm -hmm. I give thanks to God. Yes. Because mm -hmm. a lot of artists, you know, particularly, uh, I mean, well, no, no particular type of artist. It could be a, a songwriter or true. a visual true. artist. You know, there's some of them that get, you know, true. a little uh, conceited, like, you know, I'm all that. Well, know? I know <laughs> that uh, the only person that put the power in my limbs is God. And, yeah. um, you know, mm -hmm. I give it all to him on that because it's, it's, without him, I couldn't do this, you know. You know, I couldn't often get up say, in the morning. <laughs> that's true. You know, I often say, well, I do what I do because of the, the God force within me. What he is, not me, my, me, uh, in me of myself, but what Almighty God has given to me and Give worked through you. me. Right. I'm the vessel. Right. You know, and exactly. that's how I see it. It's exactly. like that. I feel the same way. Mm -hmm. I feel the same So way. when you know that and you know who you are, there comes with it a certain calmness. There comes uh, a certain confidence. Confidence. You know. That, uh, of what God has given to you. This is your gift, and he gave it to you to use Correct. and to inspire other people. Well, this is uh, an ongoing thing with me. I've been drawing ever since I was a little tadpole. So mm. wow. uh, after I would say I gave my all in all and sort of mastered oils, oils began to bore me, and I was mm. looking for something new. And just doodling about on paper just wasn't it, because that too you can dispose of. But I wanted something that was permanent, something that was vibrant, something that was, you know, you can just taste the flavors of what have you of uh, what you're doing. And the colors that uh, Airbrush give you definitely help you taste the colors. And that makes a difference. It does. Yeah, it makes all the difference in the world. It challenges you. Yeah. Mm. Every picture is a challenge. People bring you, what kind of pictures people bring you? Oh, all types. All really? types. I've met. People all from races. all walks of life, mm -hmm. all races, creeds, mm -hmm. different languages. I've had to mm -hmm. uh, communicate with people who I couldn't even speak their language with. But <laughs> the picture itself mm -hmm. told me exactly what they want. Mm. And, and children also? Children. Yeah. Uh, I've done uh, so many people. It's just mm -hmm. un it's unreal. Mm -hmm. Is it always people? Is it sometimes uh, animals, dogs? Well, people have, a, people have a tendency to get what they want, basically. It should be that way. Uh, some people have uh, their, their likenesses in their cars, their dog. Uh, they have a favorite cat, their grandmother, a, a deceased one, a living one. Mm. Uh, it ranges mm -hmm. broad. All very broad. Yeah. As to what you would do. Now, here we have a piece of uh, Chris Thomas, the comedian. Correct. Yeah. My How you come to do that? Well, uh, Mr. Thomas approached me a good year ago and asked me to do some pictures for his new comedy club that he was opening mm -hmm. up. And uh, to me, it was uh, a challenge, you know, to mm. do... Uh, wow. It's something when you, when you do a, uh, an ordinary person like yourself mm -hmm. and myself, portrait, you, you can do it as you see the picture, if yeah. you are that, you know, mm -hmm. capable of doing so. But when you're doing a famous person, right. one that everyone knows, right. then you're, you're, you're subject to, to be scrutinized because if you don't get it right, it will be told to you. Well, people look at it and say, that don't even look like Chris. Correct. That don't even look like Bill. Correct. <laughs> but see, now, we all have a picture of the individual in our mind. Right. Or of uh, mm -hmm. a picture that we have seen so many times of over them. and over. Mm -hmm. And then when we grab a, or if the artist grabs a new picture, and it is not seen, you know, only by a few people out there, then they may go, well, who is that? Well, I've never seen him do that before, mm -hmm. you know. But in all in all, if you look at 
the eyes, the eyes themselves hold all personality in a person. If you can capture the eyes. Oh, sure. The eyes. Is, is it hard to do that? Uh, it's, yeah, yeah. But uh, you start on that first. For myself, I start on that first. Oh, you start with the eyes. The shape of the head means nothing if the eyes is not real, you know? Mm. Wow. You know, it's funny you said it because I've heard people say, even in photography, uh, if you can capture the eyes uh, of the person, you can catch the aura of the, the person. The aura, right. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, that's, we all have an aura. There's an aura around all of us. And some people know how to tap into it. Right. And others have not. Right. You know? Uh, well, the eyes to me are, uh, like I said, the, um, the personality. It holds the, mm -hmm. the depth, mm -hmm. the, the, the character. It holds. Uh, how do every... you do that, though, as an artist? How do you, how do you capture? Because I mean, everybody's eyes are the same. <laughs> well, uh, look at Chris. You, you got the big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you basically draw what you see, you know. And if you go beyond that, you're not getting it. You're not hitting it right. Mm -hmm. It takes a little time, basically, to get into this. It takes a lot of preparation. Mm -hmm. uh, mentally as well as uh, your materials. So capturing the eyes and the essence of the eyes uh, um, is not, uh, it's, it's, it's much harder, in other words, yes. than uh, capturing the shape of one's head. Oh, sure. If you, it, like I said, if you have the shapes of the head and the body and what mm -hmm. have you all intact, mm -hmm. then it's really not a picture until you put the eyes of that picture. Like the Mona Lisa, she's just sitting there. But if it wasn't for those eyes and that, that little smirk of smile that she yeah. has on her, you wouldn't be able to see the, the, the personality in the, in the, in the mm. fictitious person, Mona Lisa. Mm. Coming across. Mm. That's beautiful that you say that, brother, because I never thought of it like that, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, yeah, that's, that's wonderful. But uh, with Chris here, you know, it just, I mean, that's just, I mean, especially the head, the head shaped just like that. <laughs> And the eyes. Well, once you get to spend some time with that individual, too, yeah. you pick up some of their traits and some of their characteristics, and you're, it's easier for you to if you actually know recall the in your mind, you know, what exactly what they do, how they do it. How they hold their head How sometimes. they hold their head. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. That's, mm. But that, I guess that comes with being an artist. That's part of your job. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, to, if... If you have studied your craft to a point where you are satisfied and you have that that confidence, then there's no no telling what you could bring out of yourself. And I mean, I'm myself. I'm awed at some of the things that I do. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as creating. You surprise uh, yourself sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. A lot of times, the people go, "How do you do that?" I have no answer. Mm. I have to give it to to God. Because mm -hmm. that's where it comes from. Exactly. Yeah. Now here we have uh, uh, Q. Ice Cube, mm -hmm. uh, he's uh, stepped somewhat out of the uh, mm -hmm. rapper's uh, limelight. He's now into movies and what have you. In yes. fact, this picture is off of uh, the advertisement for his new movie. Which is called what? I'm not too previous. sure. I'm not too sure what it's called, but uh, it's Cube a good picture. Cube has that look about him, doesn't he? Yes, he does. <laughs> the yes, eyes. Does. Uh, we talk about the eyes. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking at how his eyes are so different from, say, uh, Chris or Bill's eyes, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, it's like a, a meanness there, <laughs> what you see, you know, a Correct. seriousness. And you have to, you, if you don't capture it, mm -hmm. it sort of throws the entire portrait off, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I've had the pleasure of meeting him and seeing him oh, in really? person. So uh, through my own memory, mm -hmm. I've tried to recapture some of the... What kind uh, of person? Oh, he's a beautiful person, beautiful. I mean, he's a down-to-earth brother, he's not about... Uh, the drug scene or oh, the the gangster rap in which they they portray him portray him as, but mm -hmm. he's a he's a real down to earth family man, mm. family man if you would. Yeah, we don't get that image of Q. No, no, no. it's hidden because uh, you know some people want their private lives held mm -hmm. private. Yeah, of course. You know? And that's one of the uh, good things about uh, having the ability to pay for it as well. You know. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, that's true. It, true. It, it costs, but. I just, this beautiful how you capture it though, and that's his look. I mean, you know, uh, I, I get a sense of strength there. Mm -hmm. uh, I get a sense of um, uh, pensive, thoughtful, mm -hmm. pensiveness, mm -hmm. and a sense of look. You know, don't mess with me. I ain't to be messed with. You know, <laughs> I get that also. Well, the, uh, <laughs> like I said, the brother himself, he's a, a down to earth guy, 
And sometimes you just can't let the looks of others, you know, mm -hmm. fool you. You have to really get in, involved in the person. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think as many times as I painted Ice Cube that mm -hmm. uh, I could say I'm, he's a part of me. He's mm. a part of me. Where'd you meet him? Uh, at the 930 Club down in Washington, D.C. Mm. Yeah, I had the pleasure of uh, attending one of the concerts. And mm -hmm. uh, after the show, I met him, and uh, it was an experience. You ever seen, he, have you he, um, ever seen any of your work? Uh, I did have a shirt down there with me, and mm. uh, uh, I was showing it uh, to everybody else. Someone brought it off of me right, right. I didn't know I was going to meet him, basically. Oh. But I sold it right before, right before you I, met I met him, so I couldn't really uh, <laughs> couldn't give it show to it to him. Right. You know? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Well, the thing is, you never know uh, where success leads. Exactly. You don't know, brother. Exactly. I mean, they take you anywhere exactly. and everywhere. Uh, who have some of the um, celebrities that you've done? Oh, like you just said, uh, you never know where you're, mm -hmm. where you're headed in this business. Uh, uh, I have done. If you would, let me show you. Okay. Uh, at the comedy club that I'm located mm -hmm. at, uh, okay. we we have a lot of entertainers there, mm -hmm. and they come up, and when they do come, I know they're coming, so what I'll do is I'll paint a picture of them, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll get them to autograph it once they get there. We have to take a break right here. We're going to be right back in a moment, and we'll pick up right there. Okay. I'm Danny Queen. This is Color Me Poetry. We'll be right back.